Is this new dude I met on Tinder? Oh, he's six five, kind of like Bryson Tiller. Like he got abs. Like he got abs. Yo, what up, dude? What's going on, man? Got another catfish on the hook, man. I'm telling her I look like an R&B singer. Don't. <laughs> she think I got abs. She buying all this shit. <laughs> what? What? All right, so what do y'all think works better, traditional dating or online dating? I think you definitely got to go online. I mean, who really is out there sparking up conversations in real life? You're not even having a conversation. You're sending emojis. So that's not a conversation. Well, first of all, I'm sending dick pics. That's, that's an emoji. <laughs> this dick ain't going to suck itself. My name's Anthony. That's how I started off. <laughs> so I, I go right there. Let's get straight to the point. Online perception is I'm just here to have sex. Nobody's like really trying to build a meaningful relationship, so you can't find anything serious on but there. But honestly, though, but no, because there are a lot of people that aren't trying to build meaningful relationships in person either. That's what I'm saying. So. When you meet somebody at a at a bar for the first time, you're not going up to them and being like, "I want to start a meaningful relationship with right. you." Like you looking at them and you right. like, "What's up?" What's okay, up? but that's the attraction. But once you start talking to them, you realize they ain't really about nothing. You'd be like, "All right, cool. I'm gonna swipe left in you on real life and go to the next one." <laughs> Why do you think online can't work? Have you tried it? Yes, I've tried all of those. I was on Christian Mingo, I was on Plenty of Fish. First of all, the person in the commercial ain't the person on Christian Mingo, okay? <laughs> it was like some 45-year-old dude, like, I'll give you everything I got. I was like, that's not the Christian way. Like, <laughs> but I've tried them all. I did Tinder, and you, you don't get to know nobody. In my opinion, it's so easy to, to have a conversation in person. You could talk about the fucking air, but it's difficult to have a real-life okay, conversation okay, wait, via wait, wait, text. I, I don't know, because I, uh, the dude I'm talking to now, I met him in person. But when we met, it literally just looked at each other. He said, what's up? I said, what's up? Because I mean, like, that's a real one to me. That's a real dude. Like, yo, what up? What's good? Like, <laughs> this is why I like online better, because I don't I don't deal with rejection very well. So if I go up to a chick and she like, nah, nigga, I'm good. Take your fat ass across the room. Don't come back over here. Use a broke nigga. Be some rude ass right? female. Yeah, yeah. So if a girl don't respond to you in a DM, do you get mad? Absolutely. I feel like she thinks she better than me. Like, yeah, you better respond. I think that when someone slides in my DMs, the hey, what's up, automatically gets declined. Why? Because you need to come with something a little bit more than that. Like what, a poem? Improper English does not get you nothing. Right. <laughs> but the hey, what's up is like, I don't know, the sky. Like, small talk <laughs> and bullshit talk, like, really makes me, like, nervous. What, what do you expect them to say? I, I, I was scrolling and it's something, I usually don't do this, yeah, I but I felt a connection to the pictures. Let me ask this. I think that this is something that is exclusive to online dating. Yeah. And we all know catfish. There's no way, there's no way for someone to catfish you in real life. See, that isn't all the way true. Cause sometimes when these hoes take their face off, there's another nigga under there like named Harold. And sometimes these dudes take their shirt off and ain't no abs under there. Right. So I used to be a professional catfisher, so it's like levels to this. I would send them like old pictures like when I was still like low-key small, and then I would start talking to them, make them like me. And then by the time they see me and see now I was bigger, it's like, if you don't fuck with me, now you shallow. So that's how you win. Yeah. These people be talking to these people for like years well, and never meet them. It should transition to traditional dating anyway. Right. Like, I feel like the, the advantage of online dating, you get to date people outside of your network. So you're saying it's more about the intro. Like, you can get for the introduction, me, but eventually you gotta have that in person Yeah, person. because if a dude sees you and he's like, ooh, I really like her. How could you tell that by just looking at a person? Well, sometimes like you just you know look. in your how you in, spirit. How you do it in person? It's like, because like, you can meet somebody in person and think that you're getting to know them, but they could just, you, you're just talking to their representative. Right, but we're so talking about before you met them. If you want to get catfished or some dumb shit, be on Instagram or Tinder. If you really want to find Bay, go to Match.com or eHarmony. I know niggas no. that have found wives off of there. Because you got to take a questionnaire. Wow. Oh, oh, the questionnaire. <laughs> God forbid the questionnaire. <laughs> Can't lie on the questionnaire. <laughs> what are the pros and cons of traditional dating? Meeting somebody face to face. The cons are you got to spend that bread. You know what I'm saying? And, and you might not find out till $200 into the date she ain't worth a second one. You First know. of all, why you spending 200 off the top? Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because if you go out, because this is why about Why can't much. you go get coffee and talk to the bro nah, and let him know you, what's happening? You take a That's still $20. No you take, you take, you take a chick to dinner, hoes always love ordering drinks. I'm like, yo, like, relax. We get you a bitch that, that, that's on a diet because she only want water. Right. Facts. Let's talk about your worst online dating experience. You know Liam Hensworth? I think he's Thor's younger brother in real life. So he slid into my DMs on Twitter. So then one day he was like, yo, I'm about to go hop on this plane. You know, you know, I'm going to call you. So I was like, all right, cool. You know, I prepped myself. We practiced that. Hello, 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 you know. So when he called, he was like, hello. <laughs> And he was like an 11-year-old little boy. I was like, <laughs> I got catfished by an 11-year-old? He had swag, man. 
Um, I had slid in the chick's DMs and we ended up hooking up. She looked like what she said she looked like, but her box smelled like nacho cheese. I don't see how that's the online dating fault. Yeah, like, you know that can happen in, in any situation. But I thought you liked nacho cheese. I don't like nacho vagina. I don't. <laughs> it was nacho <laughs> vagina. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was another episode of The Cooler. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to All Dev Digital. And drop us a comment. What do you guys like better? Online dating or traditional dating, and if it is online dating, let us know which app works best for you. All right, I like to thank all my special guests, starting with Lord As Gonzalez, Gigi Townsend, and your boy Doughboy, aka Jabeta, aka Shampoo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Shampoo.